Tuesday makes it the second day since long queues resurfaced at the filling stations in the Federal Capital Territory. Reports say the situation is same in some states across the country, especially Lagos and Oyo. Here in the nation's capital, the situation is already telling on the motorists as they lament their old day, especially what they go through in the hands of black marketers. From last week to date, we have a serious fuel. Even my vehicle now is parked. I have to go to Kaduna. I cannot go because there is no money to buy the fuel and go. And you have to queue. In fact, if you see the, most of the shoe shana, they have gone back to black market. They have been killing the shoe for us. There is no way I will look him for shoe shana since morning. I cannot see him. They have gone back to black market because it's where they can get the money easily. The uh, coming of this administration, it was a little bit control. And it surfaced again. You see, our problem here is not the government as per se, but an individual that has selfish interests. The, fuel, the fuel scarcity is affecting everybody because there is actually no fuel and the price is high now. The black marketers are selling at a very high price. Well, you know, they mix it. I even saw some of them mixing the fuel, you know, those selling a black market. So I can't afford to knock down my vehicles. So. Commuters, on their own part, decry the increase in transportation fare as areas where they used to pay 150 naira has increased to 300 naira. They insist drastic measures must be taken to cocktail the excesses of the fuel stations holding the product and those of the black marketers. Yes, the black market now, they are trying to tell us that 10 liter is uh, 4,000 naira. We normally enter 150, 200, but now it's 300. Because of the fuel scarcity, but we don't know what is happening. If I am to be in position to eliminate this black market, I swear to Almighty God, I will take a drastic measure. That have filling station and then cause black market or, or what we call it, uh, uh, queue in his uh, filling station. I will collect that operation license from him. We are foreseeing more hardship in the country. Yeah, exactly. That's but the point is, there is no fuel anywhere. You can see it here, the same thing I call Kaduna, any state you call up, they will tell you, say it's worse. even Lagos. He's a piece of petroleum and he, have, he has been doing these things. Let him continue with the good thing, at least. I kept coming on the express thinking I'll be able to enter one filling station and buy. That's how I got to town. You know, I've not had my bath, I've not brushed. So, what's the time now? It's, about, it's almost uh, past one or thereabout. So, how am I going to go to? I can't go to work today anymore. NMPC has said it is not contemplating any increase in the price of petrol for now in order not to jeopardize the ongoing deliberations with organized labor and other stakeholders. Chuka Onguhai, ITV News, Abuja.